hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my playlist and in this video i'm again going to talk about another important aspect which is custom store so we have already talked about uh, readable writable and derived store so let's say i will rename it custom store.js what does that mean we already know how to write writable readable and derived store what i want is when you are using a real application there your store objects will be big can we have some kind of a reducer mechanism which which we used to have inside uh, react redux Sing, a single file which is able to update delete all different kind of our operations and use these internal method of the store like set and update internally okay so that we can try to do so what we will do is import writable from Swell store and we are going to create a simple function which is going to represent our store create count okay and here we are going to get everything from what to, uh, what writable store provides so writable we have just a number and it provides us subscribe method set and update now i want to use these methods internally and i wanted to return a custom object which my components can use so we can use the subscribe method which is already provided by them increment method what it will do is it will be able to call this internal update method and will increase the value similarly we have decrement we will just call the update and then we can have another method which is reset which is just going to directly set it to zero when you want to just set it set to some value without worrying about what is the current value so now i can export this export const count and this store you can return from this now this is returning this object now you can use subscribe increment decrement reset functions directly without worrying about what is the store type how to use it so it's like a custom made store we have similarly let's say i have uh, this can be uh, another name let's say custom store what it is having it is also using all these methods set update and i'm having writable which is just an empty collection let's say i am doing it for hobbies the subscribe method is subscribe okay and then i can have other methods like uh, set hobbies update hobbies or let's say delete hobbies right and i will be using this update method or just a simple set method like set hobby so i can just use simple set method and i am getting some values as hobbies let's say items which is already an array so i will just set that update hobbies so i will do is hobbies dot update so i'm using this update method which i already have and whatever the items i already have i will just concat this new item there so i am getting the new hobby and i will just concat that and then delete hobbies you can delete based on particular criteria you are getting just id here and you can use the same update method here you will just do the filter update items items dot filter and filter based on one particular criteria maybe id or id should not be equal equal to the id you are passing right so now what you are doing you are returning this object so i will just put it a hobby store and you can just call the subscribe method set hobbies delete hobbies update hobbies and all these methods 
subscribe i'm getting the whatever the writable store provides and then i'm calling internally these set and update method on the hobbies okay uh, simple set of examples i hope uh, this really helps in the applications we are always going to create the custom store so that we don't expose what these set hobbies update hobbies and delete hobbies internally doing inside the store